Yo, what's good everybody? This is your boy JTL. I put it from the norm back with another one. Before I get started, make sure y'all subscribe, hit that notification bell. Appreciate y'all for all the love. Checking me out. Once again, make sure if you haven't already go check out the JVJ Network with my boy Let's Talk. JVJ did a great show. I posted a video here for y'all. So y'all wanna see when me, you know, I, I I'm doing my little thing over there, you know what I'm saying, contributing. So Every Thursday, God willing, at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, I'm doing a show. All right? So make sure y'all go over there and subscribe as well. So, y'all see the picture here. This is the Pineapple Show. Y'all been seeing this whole viral video with the girl Jayla R and the young brother NS. You know, he came on, got pineapple right away. You know what I'm saying? So everybody has been chiming in giving their opinions on what she did and you know we we kind of felt bad for the brother seemed like a good decent brother but it was like he, he didn't get the same thing in return you know what i'm saying it was kind of like really are, are you kidding me and she said the main thing was because he was boring he had no personality she could tell she asked him to speak a little bit about himself and he was boring she can tell she got great discernment she can tell when somebody is born but you know what trips me out though is the fact that people say certain things but are hugely hypocrites and you want me to show you how she's a hypocrite well let's go ahead and see when melly asked her about her tell me a little bit about yourself let me show you guys how she responded Yes, thank you. Uh, so do you want to talk a little bit about yourself? Oh yeah, sure. Okay, so I'm Leah. I live in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm 23 years old. I'm a professional dancer. I've danced in the NBA for the last four years. I own a dance studio. Uh, lately I've been like moving more so into like the industry. So I've been working with artists, doing music videos, different stuff like that. So yeah, that's a little bit about me. Okay. That sounds fun. Which one? Yeah, I mean, she was very excited, wasn't she, guys? I mean, she told her age, where she stays, what she does. And she owns a dance studio. I mean, she was very excited. Yeah, I mean, she had showed a lot of personality. Way more than the other guy did. Yeah, she showed a lot of person. Well, actually... Let's see if he actually said more than what she said real quick. Oh, oh, and before I forget, yeah, since the video went viral, you know, she was on cruise season. You know what I'm saying? They tried to talk to her and all of that. But hold on. I'm going to come back to that. Let's see if what she said was more interesting than what he said. Real quick, we're just going to come right back. Um, man, where do I start? Uh, I like, uh, I like martial arts a lot. I did uh, a bit of pharmacy uh, back when I was a little bit younger, about two, three years ago. I got certified at pharmacy around when I was 17. Um, I didn't really do anything with it. I went to university for a while. I was getting like a business degree. So I have a bachelor's in business. And then I did um, pharmacy for a little while, for about three years, and then got bored. So I was like, eh, let's go see what the military has to offer. Didn't do anything. Um, got my... I did my pie cat about a year ago, got a 96 on that. It goes up to a 99, got a 96. They offered me nuclear physics and I was like, why the fuck not? So I went there and now I ship out in a few days. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, so we see he had a lot more to say than she did, but he's boring. Okay, anyways, like I was saying before, she came on to the cruise season and you know i guess she didn't like some of the things that the brothers had to say trill and his partner had to say about her and what they figure off the clip that they seen then the two sisters were saying some actual good things giving pretty good advice as well as the sister at the top right corner her name is yanni she uh yancy i'm sorry 
she gave some pretty good advice because she's also a dating coach so she was just trying to tell her you had like the you said you know it was just your personality and the way you gave off like that that jester vibe you know court jester vibe like you know he was supposed to come in and entertain you or whatever because she said oh well he was shooting a shot at me yeah that's fine but it's just the way you was getting all energy and she's like no nah, it was nothing like that then she came back and said she wanted to test him see what he was gonna say she like yeah you you just you just proved my point then earlier in that this clip she says that she has a rested bitch face she can't help it i mean what else are we supposed to do but i digress it just trips me out how women think and all that in the way that they are you know especially young ladies these older sisters were trying to give her some game that's that's all it was they were just trying to give us some knowledge on what could happen in the future if you mess around on a good opportunity but at the same time when people say he actually dodged the bullet he actually did dodge a bullet and i'm gonna tell you why a matter of fact let me show you why i say that yeah red flags all over the place so i was being nosy went down to her instagram found her instagram I'm not gonna give it out to y'all because i don't want nobody going go in there going out for her like i said this is just examples i don't like mtr always says don't hate nobody don't don't hate the player all right it's, it's just a game but she did say she was a dancer and a cheerleader for the Atlanta hawks and like i said red flags right now what kind of woman would you want you see what the arrow's pointing that has a tattoo going to her box she has a tattoo going to her box. Now, I don't know her. I'm not saying she's a terrible person. I don't think she's that great of a person either because she's passing up. Somebody who's good. And he may have passed a bullet. Dodged a bullet like Neo <laughs> on the Matrix. But this is the type of woman that we see a lot of days. Like my sister Pink Bull, I would say. Shout out to her. Magic City uniform. I mean, come on. So people want to get mad and then they want to talk trash. You know what I'm saying? But this is this is how she's moving. She gave up on a pretty decent brother. You know what I'm saying? And it's sad. And then people have a problem with this guy. God rest his soul, brother KS, the Godfather. He gave some real truths. He said what needed to be heard because the women that was on the crew podcast, they tried to be nice and respectful in their tone but she still was deflecting she still wasn't getting she still wasn't trying to hear it. it's about swag she said it's about swag then she had the nerve to say if a guy got some swag that's something a woman can follow she will follow a man's lead you can't make this shit up it's so sad guys don't even get mad matter of fact i got a great show coming a little later today lois william that does pertain to Kevin Samuels, and it's and it's a good reason. Trust me when I say I'm gonna give you a good precursor on it when I start it, so you get why I said that. But once again, like I said, the sad thing is nowadays so many young sisters don't realize what a good man is, and they brought up to if a guy leaves the race, don't get mad. Why why would he? We just saying there's so many examples like this. So rest in peace to the brother Kevin Samuels. All right, this your boy JT opposite from the North. Make sure y'all like. Make sure y'all definitely, definitely subscribe, hit that notification bell. We up here working, man, trying to hit that thousand and keep it moving, keep it popping, God willing. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you check me out. All right? Chip!